So my name is Dr. Adolf Mensa Egbokuma. Uh, I'm a gynecologist, member of the West African College of Surgeons. I work in the Mata Ecclesia Hospital in Hu, that's located in the southeastern part of Ghana. And uh, I've been able to get access to this program through the First Lady's Office for the MEC um, Scholarship Program. So um, where, where um, we are located, there are about, there's a population of about 2 million people. There are two, we are located in the middle of two regions, Gota and Oti, and uh, there are no fertility specialists there. The, most of the centers we have, which are private, are located in Accra and Kumasi. So uh, there, there's not enough, the access to fertility treatment is not in that area. So my expectation has been to specialize in the fertility so that I can make available the services to the people in this region. So the major challenges for fertility treatment is, the, the first is the awareness. There's not enough awareness in my area. Most people still uh, think fertility is either from their previous uh, lifestyles or from uh, related to religious reasons. So this has made uh, the, the knowledge base to be a problem in the first place. And the few who even know about it uh, are hindered by cost and accessibility. So I think the, for us to, to fight this uh, fertility issue, the government must put in policies, policies that would uh, encourage training of uh, specialists, fertility specialists, and evenly distributed in the country, and also decreasing the cost of fertility treatment by uh, trying as much as possible to include most of the services under the National Health Insurance Scheme. And also there should be a mass campaign not only by government, by, but by the non-governmental organizations, the religious bodies and other stakeholders in um, making, in creating awareness all over the country. So um, the in area where I find myself practicing, the once the infertility is, is mainly blamed on the women and uh, the, most of the time it's been thought of as the being promiscuous that has resulted in them not being able to get uh, pregnant. And this has resulted in a lot of marriages uh, breaking down and uh, causing a lot of, uh, I mean, leading to a lot of stigmatization and depression. So this training program has been one of the best uh, because we are, there are lots of services provided here. Uh, we have the library here, we have simulation center, and the simulation center has the andrology, the embryology, and then the scan. That we have a lot of access. And then there has been a lot of lectures and also uh, a lot of journals from other, uh, other, other faculty from across the world, especially from Euro Europe. And then the workload here has made us have a lot of hands-on experience. Our mentors and uh, tutors here have, are very approachable and They've given us a lot of hands-on, and I'm very, very confident that if I go back, uh, and I'll, I'll recommend this program for anybody who wants to specialize in fertility, and uh, it's my plan that when I go back, I would uh, hit the ground running, help organize sections, some of the sections for some of my colleagues and also uh, other uh, workers to be able to mitigate these fertility problems. So the training has, has really met my expectation. I was actually not expecting uh, this exposure or hands-on, but uh, like, like, like I said, the simulation lab, that uh, has made me to learn at my own pace from the beginning, before I was introduced to the clinical work and then given the hands-on. So the, the systematic ap uh, approach or the systematic approach to the training has, has really made my has really made me able to uh, meet my expectation and give me the confidence that I I, I, I need. From, from the deepest part of my, my heart, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to MEC Foundation Scholarship Program for giving me this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful opportunity 
to be here to, I mean, to learn something that has been on my heart all these years. And also, I want to thank the Indira IVF Center for the exposure and the patience in tutoring me during this period. And I also want to thank the First Lady's Office, Ghana, for, for helping me when I approached them to make this uh, dream a reality for me. Thank you.